Hi there, I'm Derek from RitterCreek.com and we're getting ready to play Hell's Highway, which is the fifth campaign game from uh, Lone, Lone Canuck Publishing. And uh, this takes place in Holland during Operation Market Garden. I'm going to be playing against Hayes Wofford. So, uh, and he's a local um, member of our little ASL group over here. So we're looking really forward to that. I'm going to be playing as the Germans, the 107th um, Panzer, and uh, Hayes will be the uh, American 101st Airborne and the uh, British, uh, I guess the Guards Armored. So let's take a look, look at what we have here. So here's, <coughs> here we have, this is what, sorry about that, should have been prepared. This is what comes with Hell's Highway. So what I won't be showing you right now are the um, counters. There's some counters that come with it too. So we have the cover. And then we have some examples of um, sparse orchards and uh, some rules too that cover how it works. It comes with a number of scenarios. That's one, two, three, four, five scenarios. And then it um, gives you a little bit of background. I guess that would be like the um, uh, game notes on it. Then the breakdown of the 107th Panzer Brigade. So how many vehicles were in each one? It's actually kind of interesting reading. Then the actual game specific rules for the campaign game. And then we get into the actual campaign game itself. So where does that start now? Here it is. So the British are gonna start with um, three boffers guns somewhere inside the town. Let's get this back. Over to. No, we didn't need that. The British start with three boffers guns somewhere in town. They're going to be cloaked. The Germans are going to come in over here down on the uh, north edge. And they're going to be coming in over here on the east edge. So they're going to be trying to take this town of, um, of uh, Maria Heidi, if, I, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is on Hell's Highway. So uh, what happened, as far as I understand, is the 30 Corps, uh, well, the 101st liberates this area of Hell's Highway, and then they kind of just abandon it, thinking it's safe. The uh, British are moving through with some Bofors guns. German uh, uh, 107 attacks with a whole bunch of Panthers and, and um, flak, flak uh, half-tracks and engineers and stuff takes the town from them, and then from the south, the paratroopers try to take it back, while from the north, the 30 Corps turns around and comes back down and tries to liberate it from the north. So the Germans are stuck in the town itself um, for 36 hours while, while they get um, slammed from both sides with typhoons buzzing around the whole time. So uh, I know it's really, really heavy in uh, armor, this particular scenario where um, the Germans have Panthers and, and the British have uh, Fireflies, so quite a good match for the Panther, so it should get pretty bloody. So the Germans split up their force into two, so they can buy stuff that comes in either with this group or that comes in with this group, So and you have more to spend than you can put in one particular group, so they're going to be coming in from both sides. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to come in. And I thought up this devious plan, and I know it's crazy, but I'm gonna. I think I'm going to park some of my Panthers inside of stone buildings, just so that the typhoons don't don't catch them. Now I know they're gonna fall into the cellar. One in six will fall into the cellar, but boy, those typhoons—they are just nasty, nasty business. And one of the problems is they keep coming back. They have the potential to come back every turn on a scenario that where he requisitioned them. So even if you shoot them down, just the same number just keeps coming back if he rolls a one or a two. So um, if I can cause him to miss his sighting task check because of that, um, because of being in a building, that plus three for being in a building, then um, then you know that's a big victory for me. So I think I'm going to take my chances falling into the cellar and uh, park some tanks inside of buildings, and we'll see how that goes if that plan works out at all. Alright, so we did our initial purchases for the first scenario, and this is what we've, we've got. We'll start at the top. We got two Panthers, a uh, Pioneer 
company. I guess Platoon. I keep forgetting this isn't Red Barricades. So uh, Pioneer Platoon, that'll be three 838s, flamethrowers, demolition charges, and they all come in uh, riding on half tracks. We uh, got lucky with our rolls. We got three 9 minus 1 leaders, including a tank leader, and an 8 0, so that was really good. It would have been nice to get a minus 2 leader, but wasn't in the cards this scenario. Then we got a uh, regular infantry platoon, that's four squads, a couple light machine guns, or one light machine gun, some uh, half tracks. We've got uh, a heavy weapons um, half track platoon. That'll be uh, with the 81 millimeter mortar and the 75 millimeter gun. And we've got some flak to protect them. Then my favorite of all, how could you not spend three dollars and get three flame throwing half tracks? That's going to be so much fun if I can actually get them, get them close to this, within range of the infantry. Okay, then we move to this side. Now this is the. Uh, Northern group, and we have some uh, uh, storm troops. So that would be the five four eights. And there's four of them, and they come mounted on uh, half tracks as well. Some eight three eights, more more pioneers with flamethrowers and demolition charges. Uh, another couple panthers got lucky on a roll for uh, one tank leader, and then we have the uh, thirty seven flak panzers. So that, that's going to be our anti air protection. This guy shouldn't be here. So um, th those will be our initial forces. What we're going to do is we'll be moving in. This group will be coming in here, moving into the city by this way. And then this group will be coming in here, moving in this way. And then if you bought any tanks, maybe we'll be meeting them over here or down here. I'm really not sure how this is going to play out at all. But gosh, isn't this awesome? It's all you could ask for. All these Panthers and flamethrowing half tracks and anti aircraft guns and and uh, pioneers everywhere you look. So much fun. All right, let's see how this one plays out. <laughs> 